Hello YouTube, this is Rascal Dazzle and today I'll be giving you for the first time since um my first since for eh, for the first time since my first video on YouTube, I will be giving you a review of some Lego custom minifigures. Now these aren't Harry Potter again, which I have updated a lot of those from the first video, which and I will be doing a video on that very soon. <coughs> but these are some of my Lord of the Rings videos. You know I've been crazy about Lord of the Rings lately. Cause I just saw it for the first time and now I'm like all into it. Um but, yeah, so I've been building a lot of Lord of the Rings customs, and, um, I think I'm just gonna start, I think I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna start out with it, like, right now, so. Here, let me zoom in. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go from my least to my best. Like, my least favorite to my best. Okay. So, here is my first custom. Come on, it's not wanting to... There you go, that works. Now, you saw this in my first Lord of the Rings custom. This is just supposed to be the bartender from the Prancing Pony. Um, yeah, um Besides his face, nothing's really s super movie accurate. Um... He's just, um, I just built him quickly. He's got some old western tor torso, um, some grape, or brown pants, sorry. And then the mechanic's head from the Indiana Jones flying wing set. And then, let's see. Next, we have got my custom Denethor. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is the, he is, um, Boromir and, For and Faramir's dad. Um, he loved Boromir, but he hated Faramir, um, he ends up, um, being, I forget how, um, he ends up being lit on fire, though, and running off the tip of Minas Tirith, it's actually very funny, because he's, su he's such a jerk in the movie, it's kind of funny to watch him die, he'd say it, but, he is pretty cool, he's got the, um, Dastin torso, and if you, and with, um, brown arms, and if you're wondering why those are, that have silver on them, well, I painted it one time, um, I forget what I painted it for, or, I mean, I put, like, marker on it, and I, and, I couldn't get all of it off, so that's why it's on there. And then Ahsoka's legs, and then Dastin's face with the with the um, angry side on, and then Anakin's hair, and then this um, these um, pirate shoulder pads, the gold ones. I don't know. I couldn't decide which one looked better, blue or gold, on him, but I thought the gold ones looked pretty cool. And like I said, I'm going from my least favorite to my best. So. Trust me, these first ones may not be great, but they'll get better as they go. This is supposed to be the Witch King of Angmar, I think, is how you pronounce it. Um, he's pretty cool. He's got um, the Cairo swordsman um, chest, the um, these red shoulder pads, this cape, which has the stars on it because I don't have any plain black capes available, the, this Dastin sword, um, and his mask is custom. As you can tell, it's 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 basically like one of those one by one bricks with the studs on all sides. You know, with that here, that little stud on every single side. It's basically just that, and then I have um, horns coming out of the two sides, and then the big horn on the top. And then this is supposed to resemble the mask. And then it has a slope piece, and my best custom, which I will be showing you last, has a has a mask that looks very similar to that. And then I put these legs with the red, um, with the red connector piece, the red leg connector piece on because it kind of matches up with the red on the bottom, like, of this chest right here. So, yeah, i got to get moving. Okay, so. Next, kind of funny that I'm d showing you her after the Witch King because she's the one that killed the Witch King. She is Eowyn, um, and she's, she's pretty cool. Um, I like her. She got this... Sword, or, ah, sorry. The shield's not really custom. I think I got the idea from somebody. It's just that piece in the back of the cylinder piece. She kind of... I, I could... She holds it from the bottom. I could have her hold it from the top. Then it would, like, cover her face. So it just looks better. And she holds it from the... From that peg right there. Or, I mean, from the top peg. And then... She has this market... This market vendor um, torso from the Prince of Persia theme. And then, um... These, um... Small gray legs. Um... A Dastin sword from the Prince of Persia theme. Ron Weasley's face, and then, um, I 
think this was, um, what's her name? That one girl, that one, um, foreign woman or whatever, I forget her name, but from, um, the Venice Canal Chase Indiana Jones set. I think it was, like, Eliza or something like that. I'm not, that might have been her name, I don't know. But she's pretty cool. She, I could include a helmet with her, but, um, considering she has a dude's face, I figured it, it's already t kind of hard to tell she's a girl anyway. I figured I might as well just, you know, keep it like that. Next I have Galadriel. Um, she's pretty cool, too. Um, she has a slope piece. She's the one, as you know, gave, um, she was the, um, the, um, what's her name? The elf woman who gave, um, who gave Frodo and Sam the, um, the tool, you know, the tools or whatever that they needed. Like, she gave Frodo the, the, the light thing, the stone light, I forget what it's called, like, the file of, I don't know, the file, so I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's a little background on her. And then she has this Marion Ravenwood torso, this face. I could use the back side of it where she's, you know, oh, but, um, and then Legolas' hair, but, you know, I don't use that side because she's never, she's always really smiling in the movies. Next, I've got Wormtongue. He's pretty cool. All he is is just Darth Vader's newer head, the one that's, you know, kind of looking, you know, stern, more stern, and then um, another piece of Anakin hair, gray gloves and Lucius Malfoy's body and legs, torso and legs, and he's pretty cool. Um... He had kind of like a chalk, chalky white face, so that's why I gave him Vader's face. I was going to give him the original Snape face, but that was on a rare minifigure that I was kind of using at the time, so I didn't want to take it off, but here's Faramir, and we're getting down to the... Oh, you know what, actually, before I show you him, let me show you one more guy. He's not really custom, I just want to show you him quick. It's um Gandalf the Grey, obviously. Um, speaking of which, I did not build a Sauron, I had not... Um, Reviewing a Sauron because, or not Sauron, Saruman, sorry. I didn't build a Saruman because, um, we're getting him in the, in the, what do you call it? There's a new set next, that's coming out, or later this year. It's called, um, The Wizard Battle. It comes with Gandalf the Grey with no hat, with hair, and then, um, Saruman, it's got the, um, that one crystal orb thing, I can't think of what it's called, the Palantir. But anyway, um. He, all I did was basically just give him Dumbledore hair, and then I gave him the staff that he had in the video game. I mean, I don't have it r next to me, the cover right next to me right now, but look up, but look at the cover of the video game. His staff looks like this, and has like the diamond sticking out of the top. So I decided to build mine like that, you know. So that's pretty cool. Now the last two now. Next you have Faramir, Boromir's brother. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, he's got the crossbow. Indiana Jones's face, the soccer player from um, minifigure series four, I think. His face, I mean hair, sorry. Um, short rounds body, tan legs. Um, this little satchel, Indiana Jones satchel thing, and then a green cape. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to give him some, some de more decoration because I looked up a photo of him. I looked up photos for all these guys when I was building them to see if I was building them right, and he kind of had like this. Kind of had a green cape on the photo I was studying. And now, here it is, my best cust Lord of the Rings custom, I think, to date. Um, and I just want to show you him because I love him. He's really cool. And he's not even, they don't even really, sh they only show this guy a couple times throughout the movies in human form. But when I said that, that probably already gave it away. Yes, the one and only Sauron himself. And he is really cool. I have his mace, which is custom, as you can tell. And I like it. It's just this whole cone piece with this big, with this thing and all these. These are supposed to resemble the spikes. Of course, what would Sauron be if he wasn't holding the one ring? And then, um, he's wearing this piece from one of the assassin type dudes, whatever they're called, in, um, Prince of Persia. Black legs, bl um, and then black hands, black cape. This one's just a plain black cape. And then he has, um, oops, and then he has these, um, shoulder, uh, these armor, sh armored shoulder pad type things, and then his helmet, here, let me take, I'm run whoa, actually, you know, I don't have time to show you, but his helmet, as you can tell, is custom, it's just, it's a lot like the Witch King's, just with these grapple pieces on the sides, so, yeah, I love him, he's really cool. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching, and comment, rate, subscribe, and, yeah, see you later, bye.